This is a presentation on how to create an HMI application using the product feature opccontrols.net for standard WinForm application development. We'll start by using Visual Studio 2010. You can use Visual Studio 2005, 2008, and we even have a legacy set of controls for 2003. If you want to programmatically access OPC server data from your .NET application, we have a different training video on that, and that is the programmatic data access video. In this video, we're going to demonstrate how to use the controls without writing any code to create an HMI application. First, we'll select File, New, and then Project. We'll select to create a WinForm application. Set your target framework on what you want to deploy to. If you're going to deploy to XP operating systems, I would suggest to choose the .NET Framework 2.0. If you're running on Windows Vista or Windows 7, you can choose the 3.5 framework, or you can choose the 4.0 framework if you know that the operating system will have that framework installed on it. Select OK. And now we have the form that appears, and this is where we're going to drop our controls onto the form. If you have not yet selected the OPC controls components, right click in the toolbox window and select choose items. First let's just display a value with the OPC controls label. There are many properties available for each of the components to dynamically define them to an OPC systems.net tag or a direct OPC item. For a label control, the most common one would be the text OPC systems underscore tag property. Select the Browse button, and we will now select the network node where the OPC system service data source is. If you're going to run the application on the same computer as the OPC system service, you can select the local service. If you know that your application is going to be deployed remotely, but you do not know the IP address, network node name, or domain name yet, you can use the OPC controls network nodes control with a method called add network node alias. This is demonstrated in the WinForm example code that's installed with the OPC systems.net. Let's select a point. We'll select ramp2.value and we'll set the formatting on how we want to display that value. Let me also increase the font so that you'll see that a little bit better. Another common control that we would use is an OPC controls button. Let's set the back color of the button to the tag pump value. We'll also set the pump value with the set value OPC systems property. We'll set that to true and define the set value OPC systems tag to pump.value. Then when the user clicks on it, it will toggle the current state from false to true or true to false. You can also define it to a particular value there are also a lot of other data types that you can use for like keypad entry or keyboard entry. We'll also change the text of the button based upon the pump and change the font. To test the application, we'll just run it in debug mode, but here you could also compile it and deploy it. All of the components are 100% managed, so you can simply copy the application over to the remote PC or use click once deployment that's demonstrated in our smart client training video. Here we have the data coming in from the OPC system service for the analog point, and when we click on the button, we'll turn the pump off, click on it again, we'll turn it back on. If you have any more questions about opccontrols.net or any of the .NET product features, visit our website at opcsystems.com. Under the training page, you'll find more detailed videos on this product feature and other .NET product features. Under the Contact Us link, you'll find our contact information as well as a link to request a free product demonstration.